The wait is finally over. Thanks for sticking around for sports. I'm Jack Allen. The first college football Saturday has already been filled with drama. Iowa State almost lost to FCS foe Northern Iowa. Tennessee was upset by Georgia State. Baylor taking on an FCS opponent themselves, trying not to add their name to that list. Baylor running their way into 2019 against Stephen F. Austin. The Bears got a stop to start the game, and then quarterback Charlie Brewer got to work. Brewer finds Treston Ebner on a swing route, and Ebner plows his way into the end zone. Brewer just getting started. QB1 lofts one up to RJ Sneed, who rises up to extend the Bear lead to 14. But the Lumberjacks would not go away. After an 11 play drive, Trey Self scrambles for six and suddenly we had a ball game again. After a few unsuccessful drives though, it was Blake Lynch feeding the turnover addiction that Coach Rule has stressed all offseason. The interception setting up Treston Ebner once again. The running back taking the ball on the pitch and then he says whoop! The running back running something like 60 yards to cover only 21, but he scores six points in the process and his teammates, well, they're loving it. The Bears continued to ride the hot hand after that. Ebner rumbles and dives across the line to score his third touchdown of the day. Baylor rolling up 28 to seven, but that would not be all. Just before the half, John Lovett breaks left and I love it. Yeah, it's a pun. Bears take over 35-7 at the half, 56-17 the final. It was one of those games where we did enough good things to be happy, but enough things that I can get upset about tomorrow and correct. Um, 34 guys played their first college football game, so very happy for them. Two first-time starters. A couple guys, you know, did, they scored their first touchdowns. RJ Sneed, two, two great plays. Gary, getting a chance to see what Gary can do. So um, I thought there were a lot of things that were good. We didn't have a lot of penalties till some silly things late. So we looked like a good football team. Now, Rule is at the helm of Baylor now, but former Bears coach Art Bryles is back in charge of a football team right here in the Lone Star State. Bryles took the field for the first time last night as the head coach for Mount Vernon High School. His hiring there was met with mixed emotions back in May, but last night, the attention turned to the field where the Tigers opened the season against Bonham. Bryles telling reporters he's just ready to get back to coaching and his team well, they came ready to play. Bry Bryles Tigers run away with it 44 to 16.